For today's show, I'm going to show you how to make one of these. A replacement flag for your Rubbermaid mailbox. Fortunately, the sunlight had left an outline of the old flag. So all I had to do was measure this, and then I could build a new one. So I took those measurements and created a new flag in Tinkercad. I started with a cylinder and reduced it down to 30 millimeters by 30 millimeters and 5 millimeters tall. Then I made the shaft of the flag. I blended it into the disc on one side and then made it the length that I had measured from the outline. It was 11 millimeters tall and 141.28 millimeters long. Then I made the flag, 50 millimeters on one side and 59.63. I probably didn't have to be that exact, but that's the measurements I had. I also made it 5 millimeters tall. I also added a little triangular piece for strength. I used another cylinder to make the snap feature. I made it 4 millimeters high and then 10 by 10 millimeters in diameter. This was slightly larger than the hole it was going to snap into, but that's what I wanted. I wanted a tight fit. So then I crowned it with a half sphere, and I made that 11 by 11 to create a lip to hold the flag in place. Now finally I had to make the snap feature, so I brought in a box and resized it so it would fit in between the two to create a slot and I turned it into a hole to take away plastic. I made it 2.75 millimeters wide. It was just an estimate. Now getting all these pieces to line up around a center point can be tricky. But Tinkercad has a feature under the adjust menu called Align. This allows you to align different parts that are selected together into one coordinate. For example, you can make them centered around the X or Y direction. Here, let me show you an example. I'll move the slot over and then I'll go back and align it. But first I gotta select all the different components that I want to align. Then I go to the Adjust Align menu and these coordinates show up. I can click on the center to center it along the X axis and the center along the y-axis. Now everything is centered around one central axis. So now I want to put everything together as one solid unit. So I drag a selection box around it all and then go to the group menu. It groups it all together as one piece of plastic. Now I'm going to change the color to red just so it looks like a flag. From there I can go to the design menu and select download for 3D printing. I'll select the .stl file and in a few seconds I'll have my file. From there I can download it and actually load it into my XYZ software. So I'll load the file into the XYZware that came with my DaVinci printer. I actually work on one computer, a Mac, to do all my design work. But I have a little laptop, a Windows laptop, that actually connected to the DaVinci printer itself. So I'm going to use export and choose excellent mode for quality and then export that as a file so I can transport it to the other computer. I'll click on export and the slicing will begin to create the file. Now this simple design only took about 10 seconds to slice. From there, a file will be created, a .3w file, and that's the file that I'll load onto my other computer and send to the DaVinci printer. So I sent the file to the DaVinci printer, and it's already started to print. So now I wait an hour and 20 minutes according to the display. But through the magic of video, I'm going to speed that up.
and just like that the print is done so now we can take it out that slides right off the platform and there we have it completed unit now the the little clip the spring clip has some pieces across so I'm gonna have to clean that up before I can stick it in the mailbox and maybe just clean up the edges a little bit but overall we got us a flag now I'll take the finished design and snap it into my mailbox it takes a little bit of force but that's what I want once it's snapped in place I can put it in any position but it moves quite easily and you can see from the inside that the snap feature worked. Both sides are squished together and holds it in place. So that's it. That's the mailbox flag project. I'll post the files on Thingiverse and put links below. If you like this video, check out some of my other videos. And if you really like the channel, please subscribe. That way I know you're watching. See you next time.